Hello everyone, uh, have you ever had this type of problem? Uh, you have installed uh, Windows 98 in a virtual machine in VMware Workstation but when you when you install uh, VMware tools and all of that there is still no audio when you start up it uh, there's no audio at all so uh, what do you do? You go to Google and you type in your problem like you ca I cannot install I cannot get sound at Windows 98 in VMware Workstation and when you do that you get a lot of people telling you to download exactly this specific audio driver and uh, you, when you install it, it it seems to go through, it seems to be working, you have this audio icon and all of that but uh, what I've heard for some people uh, it, it works well, it works perfectly the first time when you install this audio driver but uh, in some cases, like in my case, the audio is really distorted and it sounds like total garbage to be honest so uh, uh, this is how it sounds with this audio driver as you can hear, this sounds totally awful, you can't listen to this, it's horrible so uh, what did I do to fix this problem? Uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna need to uninstall this uh, audio driver because we don't need it. Uh, so we, we're gonna go to settings, control panel, uh, add and remove programs, and this is the one Sound Blaster PCI 128 drivers. Go ahead and remove this one. And it's gonna pop up with some message about shared file detection, but just hit yes. And it wants you to restart the computer, so we're gonna do that. And now Windows will probably try to look for a driver for this sound card, but it won't found, find it, so we're gonna cancel that one. And now there's no sound at all when starting up. So what you need to do now is, first of all, you need to shut down this virtual machine or before we do that what we will need to do is uh, go into the configuration files for the virtual machine itself and to find out exactly where the virtual machine is stored uh, you need to go to this player thing here manage then the virtual machine settings and if you go to options down here we see your working directory this is where where the configuration files and everything for this virtual machine is stored this is for me in my case and the name is weird because I renamed it for this video so th that's that's the one you need to find so I'm gonna go ahead and power down power off this virtual machine you open up that folder you saw there here is mine I already prepared so it's here so what you need to do is find this uh, vmx file and right click on it you need to edit this file and I use a uh, notepad plus plus but you can use the regular uh, notepad as well and here we have a lot of op options and we're not gonna mess with any one of these we're gonna leave them as they are but we're gonna add one line at the end and we're gonna add this line what this line does is it sets the virtual device for sound to Sound Blaster 16 which uh, Windows 98 already have drivers built in for so we're just gonna copy that one I'm gonna put that line in the description so you can just copy and paste it and when, we, when we're done with that we're gonna simply save this one save and we need to start up VMware, VMware again and run our virtual machine come into settings control panel again and we're gonna see if it actually shows up in device manager which it doesn't if it doesn't show up you need to go this route instead click on add new hardware if you can't find any any sound devices that are not recognized in the device manager so we are just gonna hit next next 
we are that's not the correct one so we're gonna go with no the device isn't in the list and we want to select from a list I think and we want a sound video and game controllers and we're gonna specify the creative creative and we're gonna scroll down and find this one sound blaster 16 or awe 32 or compatible we're gonna pick that one click next and hopefully windows will detect it by itself it should do that but you never know when with this let's see if it's gonna continue let me continue with this and now it's gonna start detecting this sound card I think wait it looks like it did it by itself it, it did I, I heard the audio and what I essentially did there was just install another driver for this sound card I, I just picked the sound blaster 16 by myself and let windows detect it that's what i did so we're gonna restart the computer or the virtual machine and there you have it now that it sounds like it should do and if we try and play back this file again this music file as you can hear it works well it isn't lagging anymore so yeah I, I don't know who is gonna watch this video but if you have this specific issue that I have it, it's, pre it's pretty much impossible to find any information about it online or I actually did find that line on the forum page from like 2007 or something but it was really hard to find that page so yeah, that's that's about it. That's how we get the audio to work in VMware in Windows 98. So uh, th thanks for watching, everyone.